Normal life stirs as crowds gather for Wimbledon with guests of honour in the special seats. Today, they include leaders who have developed the anti-Covid vaccines. As the applause rang out for Dame Sarah Gilbert and others who'd helped the Covid effort, the Prime Minister was confirming that the government will not be releasing the country from Covid rules at the earliest possible date next week but was more confident about doing just that on the 19th of July. What I think we should do now is continue to take a cautious but irreversible approach and use the next three and a half weeks or so uh, to make sure that we get those another five million uh, vaccinations into, into people's arms. The newly appointed Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, echoed the Prime Minister's words insisted Covid controls when lifted would not come back. Some experts think their language is reckless. No date we choose comes with zero risk for Covid. We know we cannot simply eliminate it. We have to learn to live with it. We also know that people and businesses need certainty. So we want every step to be irreversible. And make no mistake, Mr Deputy Speaker, the restrictions on our freedoms, they must come to an end. The new Health Secretary has just said that the changes will be irreversible. Does that word make sense? No, but it's, it's never made sense. But, you know, after the November lockdown, the Prime Minister said never again. Um, children were always, always going back to school in January until they didn't a day after they went back. They weren't going to stop the, the June 21st day and then they delayed it. So. You know, I, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but I, I don't think it means that much. He can say what he likes, but the disease isn't listening. Sajid Javid said he'd poured over the numbers in his first day in the job yesterday and was very confident of his words. Boris Johnson's former chief aide, Dominic Cummings, tweeted, Top tip for Saj. There's only one thing irreversible with the trolley, a nickname he's coined for Boris Johnson, because what he sees as his out-of-control politics. No comment on the PM's private life. Everything else is reversible and usually reversed. How this image, which triggered Sajid Javid's return to government, ended up in public was still being debated. The CCTV camera that caught the image is no more. I haven't disabled the camera that you're talking about, but it has been disabled by the department. I actually, I think for security, it's just common sense. The, I don't think, as a general rule, there should be cameras in the Secretary of State's office. Uh, I've never known that in the other five departments that I've run, and I'm not really sure why there was one here. Lovely. Many Tory backbenchers want to know COVID restrictions are being dismantled, never to be put back together again. They think they have someone closer to their views now in office, but worry they haven't seen the end of controls, even if they are lifted in three weeks' time. It's interesting, when Matt Hancock was Health Secretary, not so long ago in the House of Commons, uh, you heard him being asked about the use of this word irreversible, and he said the goal is irreversible changes, caveating the whole thing carefully. Sajid Javid wasn't doing that today, and Tory lockdown critics were pleased by that. But they did notice, when they pressed him uh, to, uh, on the issue of officials, they said, who were in the Department of Health, working even now on rules that would come back into play this winter, would he rule that out? Uh, that those rules would come back into play uh, this winter. And Sajid Javid sort of slightly sidestepped that one, and those Covid lockdown critics on the Tory benches are going to keep their eye on him. We're still having repercussions from Matt Hancock's resignation. I paused slightly before I used that word because we thought it was a resignation. Uh, Downing Street said uh, he could stay in his job. The matter was closed on Friday and then he appeared to uh, resign on Saturday. It was certainly the implication of the letters that were exchanged between Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson. Lo and behold, today uh, Boris Johnson seemed to be trying to take credit uh, in interviews uh, he gave uh, for having got rid of Matt Hancock quite quickly. He wanted a bit of a pat on the back for that and that left some people confused. There are still loose ends which Labour uh, is pursuing on the question of the use of private emails for government business by Matt Hancock and others uh, in the Department of Health and there are great big questions of course about what kind of health secretary Sajid Javid will be. People see him as a flinty, dry son of Thatcher, uh, someone who's not a fan of the big state but people who've known him over the years and people who've worked with him in government 
they say that Sajid Javid is the sort of person who will want to win a battle if it's his fiefdom that he is fighting for. And when it comes to maybe developing social care uh, policy or other uh, policies that require cash from the Treasury, they say not only might he be better at negotiating, but if he throws himself behind a project like that, you'll have more political capital than Matt Hancock, who seemed pretty friendless at the end of his uh, uh, recent uh, uh, cabinet uh, career, uh, than he had.